Hello Scorpio, welcome to another love reading. Uh, if you're new, welcome to the channel, welcome back. If you are already a subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. We're going to be doing a you and them love reading today. As always, this is going to be a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Scorpio watching. So uh, keep that in mind just because you're watching, oops, <laughs> just because you're watching this video does not mean that this is your reading. I almost knocked off the tripod there. If this does not resonate at all, check out my playlist for Scorpio. I have a ton of videos there. Spirits, angels, guys, what messages do you have for Scorpio in love? This reading is for those of you who are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind. What messages do you have for Scorpio? Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpio in love? This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. <clears throat> I feel like, okay, so you already know this person, which makes sense. What else? But I'm getting the sense almost like worth waiting for. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm getting the sense that something hasn't officially started. Like you've met them. But I feel like there's still something like in play or being developed right now. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Worth waiting for. So this is someone who you feel is the one for you. But you're still waiting for something. So let's see. Tell us more spirit for Scorpio. What messages do you have for Scorpio in love? going on for Scorpios in love spirit Ooh. we got the hermit Virgo energy I feel like yeah this is someone you could be dealing with a Virgo or someone with Virgo in their chart but what I'm getting here is um, not a lot of communication or a distance here like someone has they're, like you're, they're, you're a part in some way or perhaps there's um like, I, I just felt quiet. Um, like, there's not a lot being said. Two of Swords. Indecision. Unable to... This is someone that's unable to make a decision. And there's try, they're trying to figure something out. This could be somebody also that is stuck. This could be you or your person. That one wanted to come out too. The star reversed with the two of pentacles reversed and the knight of pentacles reversed. Aquarius energy with the star reversed. This is uh, needing healing. Um, this is something that feels hopeless or someone perhaps lacks faith or hope in a situation, in a person. And I think someone's feeling hopeless because something's taking a really long time with the Knight of Pentacles reverse and with the Two of Pentacles reverse. I feel like something has happened. I just heard the shoe dropped. The shoe dropped. I don't know what that's about, but it's almost like uh, something happened. Uh, one of these pentacles dropped and there's delays, obstacles here. Perhaps something that's just very slowly unfolding. bottom of the deck I have the four of wands reversed so some sort of lack of stability harmony in a home um, a marriage a commitment um, something's off balance and the high priestess I'm telling you there's something that it's like you don't know Scorpio what this other person is going through or you're not communicating what you're going through to the person that you care about let's clarify this a little bit more tell me more about this connection what Didn't even oh my gosh <laughs> okay so I'm just gonna show you these two I'm not gonna take them but I'm gonna show them to you because they fell out the five of cups and the two of cups fell out upright like this um, so there's regret over some sort of partnership or some sort of a soulmate connection let's see 
Help me clarify. Help me clarify these energies, please. For Scorpio. Tell me about the hermit. Tell me about the hermit, please. The devil reverse. This hermit, um, person, whoever's been uh, withdrawing, um, uh, sorry, my mind is going a mile a minute. Whoever has withdrawn to figure something out, um, it's because they're trying to get out of a situation that has been difficult, toxic possibly, or a, a path that they went down that just didn't work out for them with the devil reversed Capricorn energy here. This is someone that doesn't want to be stuck. And when I saw the two of swords, I thought of someone stuck. Tell me more about the hermit. Yeah, this is someone who is um, not happy. Uh, and again, I get the sense of like, um, Maybe this person was lying to themselves about the fact that they weren't happy or they are heartbroken at something that they figured out or there probably was some sort of verbal conflict that caused heartbreak here or a message that didn't come through that caused heartbreak here. I don't know, but I want to get more. Tell me about the hermit. Yeah. Yeah. Knight of Pentacles reversed again. This is something that this person is uh, delayed, slow down. This person, yeah, they're probably dealing with financial difficulties or there's been some sort of a loss. One of these pentacles dropped. This could be at work, something that had to do with um, a job or um, someone here. Um, they put an effort into something and it didn't work out or there's no longer any effort being put into something. There's been a loss for this person. What's behind that? Page of Wands reversed. Nine of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune. This person wants things to turn around for them. And the Page of Cups. This Hermit knows what they want. I feel like this Hermit is beginning a process. Tell me about the Two of Swords. Six of Cups reverse. Tell me about the Two of Swords. Hmm. Yeah, what I'm getting here is someone uh, has been stuck in a situation of the past. Uh, so this could be a mistake or a path that they went down in the past. They're no longer putting an effort there or wanting to put an effort there. This could be a marriage, a long-term commitment. I have the two of wands. I feel like this is someone that's um, thinking of a different path with the two of wands. This is someone that's been stuck in a past decision, if that makes sense. That's just what I'm picking up, whoever this is. This could be you, Scorpio. This could be the person that you are dealing with, but um, whatever situation happened in the past, um, it's like you made a decision in the past, you were this other person, and you've been dealing with that decision. It's made you stuck. Now you have a different decision that you want to make, and it's a difficult one, possibly because now you are in a situation that has become unhealthy or toxic. Okay, we got the wheel on the page of cups wanting to come out. So again, this is someone that I feel this is a decision. The difficult decision is making some sort of change um, in your life, a big change. This could be someone coming to apologize or wanting to express themselves to you or vice versa. Tell me about the star reverse. Can you tell me about the star reverse? Yeah, this is someone that's um, heartbroken. I feel like this is someone that doesn't want to give up, but it's been very difficult. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Hmm, this person, um, whoever this is, they know that something is still unfolding or is taking some time here. To come together to be balanced someone could have wanted to avoid a tower or try to avoid a tower i don't think 
um, that happened. I have the Ace of Wands reverse and the Emperor reverse. Aries energy. I feel like this tower happened and it's like someone's trying to rebalance themselves. Excuse me. What is this tower reverse? Why is the tower reversed here? This could have been a conversation or someone has uh, cut something or someone out of their life. I'm also getting the sense that this is something that someone possibly planned or expected. Um, it's like they knew they weren't going to be able to avoid a tower or they knew a tower was going to happen in a certain way. Wow, Queen of Cups. Wow. There could be three people here. I have also a King of Pentacles. So there could be four, but for some reason I'm thinking three. There's three people involved in this tower. And one of them is upset. Yeah, someone is having a new beginning here, a new cycle, wrapping something up in the past because it hasn't been working. And they've been working at this for a while or thinking about this for a while. Wow, I'm getting such clear messages here. So if this isn't resonating, that's okay. Um, but if it is resonating, let me know how it's resonating for you. Actually, let me... Let's look at your energies for each other, you and this other person. This also could have happened in the past, this tower. But for some reason, I feel like, I don't know, I'm feeling like a, like this was a tower that was divinely guided or something with this temperance card. Temperance, the world, it's like it's slowly coming together. So for some reason, you know, and I have, these are very powerful cards. The Wheel of Fortune, the world. This is a massive change. A completely new cycle, leaving the past behind, moving forward completely. So let's see, tell me about the energies between Scorpio and this person. Let's start with you, Scorpio. Tell me about Scorpio. What are the energies that Scorpio is bringing to this connection at this time? Energies for Scorpio, please. Oh, yeah, watching and waiting. You're watching and waiting, patiently waiting for something. <clears throat> Tell me about the person that Scorpio is in a connection with, what are their buffalo? So very um, steady energy. This person is not worried, whoever this is. They're not worried. What's this? Eagle and horse. This is about move, moving forward. The horse is about moving forward. Someone's not worried about what's coming up ahead. Your person, they're going on some sort of journey or some. they're making some sort of move with the horse and the buffalo and they're not scared about what's coming their way. They're ready for this. Eagle is all about transformation. Truth seeker transforms karma. You'll soon be thrown into the karmic fire for the sake of your transformation. The ego pushes us to be our best and brightest selves and stops at nothing to see us shine enjoy the ride blah 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 so yeah i feel like this is that tower i feel like your person's the one that's undergoing some sort of tower moment or it is almost like ready for this tower maybe you both are now as scorpio i have you on this side and I have your person on the other but feel free to flip them because the energies can be vice versa so let's see let's get some more information here Let's get some more information, Spirit. Give me some more clarity on these energies, please, for Scorpio. Scorpio, for some reason, I'm feeling like um, this crocodile. I'm just getting, like, patient. Patient, patient, patient. 
Wow, falling apart, destruction, broken, ending, crumbling foundations have destroyed what once stood firm. This is another card for me, um, for Tower. Can I get one more, one more, please, Spirit Force, Scorpio's energy? Strong bonds, family, union, partnership. So this could be um, some sort of family situation here that has uh, come up like maybe a, a connection of some sort that has fallen apart or is, is crumbling. Tell me about Scorpio's person. What are their energies? Tell me more, spirit. Paralyzing fear. Fear is holding you back from what you desire. Tell me more about this person that Scorpio is dealing with. Budding romance, time out. Romance is in the air. Time is of the essence. New love, romance, courtship. Timing, patience, waiting. Another card about time. You know what I'm getting? I'm getting that this person that you're dealing with, their, their fear is not from what's coming. They're not fearing this new love or this romance or this courtship. They're feeling, they're fearing that time is going to run out before someone makes a decision. What an interesting reading. This has been, this feels very specific. So let me know if this is resonating for you in the comments. Tell me more about how Scorpio and this person are thinking or feeling about one another. Actually, let me clear up the table because I feel like there's too much going on here and I don't want there to be a mess because now I'm going to be looking at how you feel about one another. So. Tell me more about how these two are thinking or feeling about one another. Tell me about Scorpio. What is Scorpio thinking or feeling at this time? So I've got the Four of Pentacles reverse. Four of Pentacles reverse. I feel like you're letting go of something, Scorpio. I feel like you can no longer give to a situation or to a person. Or perhaps you are not feeling stable or grounded. Interesting. Now oh, we got the Hermit at the bottom with the Nine of Pentacles reverse. This is about becoming un, unattached. Um, or perhaps you're attached to something right now. But it's like you're trying to figure it out. So you could have been that Hermit from earlier. Tell me about the person that Scorp Scorpio is dealing with. What are their thoughts or feelings towards Scorpio or this connection spirit? High Priestess, Hangman Reverse. Oops. Tell me more about how this person is thinking or feeling about Scorpio. I feel like this person is um maybe the community they're not talking to you or there's no communication here. Interesting. Three of Swords. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles reverse. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles reverse. I feel like you're letting go um, of the self-deception. Yeah, you want out of this situation. You want out of the struggle. You're stuck. Yeah, stuck in the past. No progression towards what you want either. Knight of Swords Reverse. I feel like you've been deceived. Or you've deceived someone. What's this Ace of Swords Reverse about? 
feel like intuitively you know six of swords i mean six of wands reverse it's like you were telling yourself this was a successful situation or that this was um how things were meant to be or how things had to be interesting four of wands knight of cups page of swords yeah it's like it disappeared to be the right thing and i feel like maybe people were observing what you had and thinking oh that's great but they didn't know what was going on behind the scenes what's this king of cups about what a strange message this king of cups doing here yeah this king of cups wants to make another offer to their queen of pentacles yeah this is this is a burden being dropped here yeah this you're you're watching and waiting and it's like you're watching someone else You're dropping some sort of burden that no longer worked, but for some reason, it's like you want to make a return. Yeah. You want to return to your empress who you've been keeping an eye on, whoever this is, or this is growth or expansion somewhere else. This is somewhere else. You could even be delayed or prevented from leaving a situation, but I don't feel like that's going to stop you in any way because you're focused on this new thing. Now that something has fallen apart, you're focused on something new. Tell me about the high priestess. It's weird because I don't think this person has been talking to you. Queen of Swords reverse. Tell me about Eight of Wands. I get one more. I don't know who this is. This could be the person you want to be with, or this could be the person you're currently dealing with. I'm seeing it both ways. This person is keeping something to themselves. They want to draw, it's like they, they're, they've been keeping something to themselves, but I feel like you both have. I'm not sure what this Queen of Swords Reverse is about. What's this Queen of Swords Reverse about? It's like this person wants to know something they want to fix whatever happened or um, they're keeping to themselves how they feel about you. Why is the three of swords here? Higher font reverse. So this is a broken commitment or someone rebelling against what's expected of them. But I think it's a broken commitment that was very difficult. Ooh, Taurus and Aries energy here. The Emperor reverse. This was out of their control. Yeah, justice reverse. This could have been a divorce. Libra energy. They're, they're, this person feels bad because this, it's no longer in their control and it's un, it feels unfair to them. You, this could be the person that you are leaving behind, Scorpio, or this person's doing the same thing you are, which is like you're both leaving behind someone for something new. Or perhaps this is the person you left in the past. I feel like this is the person that you're trying to get away from. For a lot of you, this is the person that you are trying to separate from. I feel like they want to still fix this. They want to communicate, but
but they aren't. Interesting. This could have also happened in the past with this person. Let's see, where is this headed? This um, separation, divorce, um, or situation where there was a broken commitment of some sort, it could have happened in the past, but I'm not feeling like it's a past energy. Interesting. And with that Three of Swords, that, there could be somebody else here. <clears throat> but I don't see them. Could be this Queen of Swords reverse, but I'm not. I feel like that's someone is upset. Yeah, I I think for a lot of you, this is a very complicated situation where. I don't know it's it's like things weren't working out for this person here I'm gonna say this is you Scorpio because I have you here on this side and this person wants a new start they want a new beginning of some sort and they've had something that fell apart a, a, a loss you've had some sort of a loss here but you're you're focused on starting something new and then this person they are not willing to let go of something it looks like even though it's painful even though there's been a lot of pain this person is like they're mirroring you that's why i feel this is the person that you it's almost like they are in the same boat you are that's why i think this is the person you're trying to that this is what fell apart But I think that this is divine timing. This this was meant to happen. What's going to happen next here in this situation for Scorpio? What's happening next for Scorpio in the near future? I'm going to pick a couple cards and then I'll be taking this to the extended to find out what the hell is going on. We're going to look at everything in a much more detail, the, the potential outcome, um, what are they secretly thinking or feeling about you. Um, what do you need to know? Uh, potential blocks, hidden factors, what's going on behind the scenes, all that good stuff. Yeah, this is still ongoing. In the near future, this is someone choosing a path. And I keep getting these readings where the, your person or, your, or, the, or someone in the connection is needing to make a decision. And everything is kind of like dependent on that decision. Yeah. This is going to be a very difficult situation. I have the King of Pentacles at the bottom. Sagittarius energy with temperance reverse. This is telling me that more time is needed. Be patient. More time is needed. Someone, there's more work to be done. Could also mean that something's just not working and someone needs to do something about that. Two of Wands. This is a whole, like, the, two very different paths that someone is, um, thinking of choosing i'm picturing the hermit here so this is someone this is that person that's trying to figure out what to do um i feel like it's they're taking their time because there's going to be a difficult fallout or consequences because of this but i feel like this is someone that knows exactly what they want to do and they're not going to take any unnecessary risks taurus virgo capricorn energy here with the king of pentacles um they're going to be uh, as wise as they can be about this decision. Uh, so if this resonated for you, please leave me a comment. Let me know. Thank you for your likes, shares, and subscribes. If you enjoy the reading, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. And I'll see you all in another video.